Hi everybody, this is Todd L. Church and I'm going to give you a little tip in Photoshop CS4. You can use prior versions of Photoshop, but one of the little aspects of this tip that I'm going to show you, you can't do it in CS3 or CS2 or any other version of CS. So um, I'll show you a workaround for that, but uh, sit back and enjoy this little tutorial. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my shape tool and you notice I have an ellipse tool set up. You can use any shape, you can use a custom shape. Um, I'm going to just use the ellipse, make it simple. And I have my shape icon up here. If you notice there's three icons, there's shape, path, and um, just a regular fill pixels. I'm going to go with the shape. I'm going to drag out a shape over this picture and I'm going to hold down my shift key to move it around a little bit without letting go of the mouse and I'm going to drag it out a little bit more and I have a shape but you can't see it you can only see the path that's this little icon if I click off that will disappear so that's the path that you can see around the photograph so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the photograph and I'm going to create a clipping mask between that path and the photograph. And the way I do that is by holding down the Alt key in between the layers and click once. And you'll notice that it creates a path around the photograph and blocks out. It kind of masks it out. So you can change that path by using the direct selection tool here and selecting your path you can move your path around which is kind of fun when you're in a in a vector mask you can do stuff like that but that's not what I want to show you here what I wanted to show you here was that you can feather out the vector mask and this is the part that you cannot do in any other version of CS this is only for CS4 but you can work around it by making this a raster mask and blurring the edge or doing another, you know, form of um, pixelating the edge. So, but this is in CS4, they give you the option of feathering a vector mask, which is pretty cool. And now what I'm going to show you is even better. I'm going to take this background copy layer and I'm going to right click on it and convert it to a smart object. And the reason I do that is because I can now go into that layer and right click on it and go up to replace contents and I can select another photo and it automatically updates in that same location with the same size and everything. So just replace contents, select a new photo, and there you go. And notice how the hair is kind of uh, washed out there I'm going to select this I'm going to change around my mask a little bit move it over here there you go it's just that simple and I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial